trust between Prince Harry and the royal family is at an all-time low after the release of his bombshell memoir, according to a royal expert. Questions have been raised as to whether or not the Duke of Sussex plans on having a one-to-one -one conversation with Prince William and other members of the family when he attends the coronation on May 6. But some royal experts have said this is unlikely as he flies in for the short visit before returning home to California to celebrate Archie's birthday. Talk TV royal editor Sarah Hewson said, they, Harry, have wanted to have these talks for some time. Harry made it clear when he was doing the interview publicizing Spear that he wanted to have conversations with his family ahead of making that decision on the coronation. We don't know exactly what is happening behind the scenes. There has been a lot of dialogue going on between Buckingham Palace and Montecito in terms of security arrangements but it has now been reported that Harry has had that one-to-one -one conversation with his father. Trust is at an all-time low between the two warring sides so I think we can see it as a positive that that conversation has happened. I don't know if there will be much time for further conversations when Harry is over here if as has been reported has going to be in and then straight back out after the coronation ceremony to get back in time for Archie's birthday. King Charles and Camilla will be crowned on May 6, with Harry attending the event solo while Meghan stays at home with their two children. Harry's memoir Spare contained a number of allegations about members of the firm, particularly his brother Prince William who was also a key subject in Meghan and Harry's Netflix show. The two brothers have drifted apart since Harry's move to the US. When Harry was in the UK for a court trial earlier this month, there were reports he had tried to meet with his father but was unable to due to Charles' schedule. Simon Vigar, royal correspondent at 5 News, said there were strong signs that tension within the royal family was beginning to subside prior to Harry's memoir. During the final months of the Queen's life, there were definitely positive signs that Harry, at least, was meeting Charles and meeting the Queen, he told the documentary, but the problem was that everybody knew that the book was on the way. William is the heir and Harry is the spare, said royal biographer Angela Levin. And that is the title he chose for his book. He was very unkind about his father and I think he was very unkind about Camilla. The book's publication came a month after the release of Harry and Meghan, a six-part Netflix documentary series which told the Sussexes' side of the story. Similar to Spare, its startling contents caused controversy.